Hi, this is Ben Seltzer again, Second Language Journal. Um, this time I'm going to talk about um, the uh, voiced versus a glottal stopped T. So I'm from Philadelphia, as I said in my first video. And when I was growing up, my mom would always yell at me because I would say things like kitten, and mitten, mountain. Um, and she'd get really mad at me because she's not she's not from the area. And so she's, she was born in Boston, and so she always said mitten, kitten. And she would pronounce the T. Um, but I, being a product of my environment, me and none of my friends, my dad, we all didn't say it. And so I thought it was, I thought it was very interesting how that geographical difference, again, um, made a big difference in the way people say words. But in this case, it's the same word, um, just a different pronunciation of it. Um, so I've always wondered why it's like that way in Philadelphia. Philadelphia has a kind of an interesting accent, which I'm going to discuss in some of my later um, language journals. But I, I thought it was interesting. I didn't realize that it was a glottal until I got into uh, this class, Ling 100. So it's mit in, mit in, rather than mitten, mitten, which is a stop. Um, and then kitten, same thing, kitten. Um, so a lot of people would consider that to be kind of lazy speech if they're not from the area. But for me, it's just natural to go kitten, mitten. Um, so I just thought that was a nice little interesting tidbit from my life and my mom yelling at me, which is always fun. Um, and yeah, so there's, there it is.